Sayyid al Hudir. That is another hadith concerning Eid. It says, Once Allah's Messenger went out to the Musalla, when we say Musalla, a place of the prayer, or we can say, uh, is it oratory? Oratory is like a, a small place of prayer, right? Of Eid al Adha or Al Fitr. You see, look at the hadith. You are you are quoting, you are telling us a story, but then you you which are not happening the same time, or which are not even the same. So Salat al Eid, according to them, Salat al Eid al Adha is different from Eid al Fitr. So now, according to this narrator, Sayyid al Khudir, he is saying that the messenger of God went out to the Musalla of Eid al Adha or Eid al Fitr. So which one did he go? Okay. Then he passed by the women and said, now this is how Hadith is going to degrade the women. So listen carefully. The Hadith books are going to degrade you. The Hadith books, they have been degrading you for, for a long time even. Most of you don't read it and they study it to know what the Hadith book says about women, right? So that is why in other countries which are the so-called indoctrinated version of Islam uh, the, or the man-made version of Islam, they try to make women like you know subservient like they try to let women be as if uh so the, one thing i can say that this is why people misunderstand being submissive they, they make women be like if at, at least like very low right so then he passed by the women and said oh women give charity or give arms as I have seen that majority of the dwellers of hellfire were you women. <laughs> so the prophet saw that. Husband Allah, what you will keep. So the hadith is claiming the prophet saw that. He says he has seen that. That the, the majority of the dwellers of the hellfire are what? Are you women? So if it says you women, and you say the majority of the dwellers of the hellfire are women. Why are you telling them to give arms? Because if eventually they are, the majority of them are going to hell, they should give charity to do what? To change what you have seen? How? <laughs> because if, if he said he has seen them, which means it has to happen. Just like Yusuf, when the two prisoners came to him to explain their dreams, he explained it and told them what will happen, right? Because God has shown him like a vision. So it, it should come to pass. If there is anything to change it, he could have told the other prisoner who the birds were eating the bread from his head. He could have told him, this is what we have to do to change that, right? So now you, according to the Sadis, he's say, telling the women that most of them will go to hell. And he's telling them, you, you. He is not even saying other women or something. You women. So they ask, why is it so? They're asking him. So, oh, Allah's messenger. Then he replied, you curse frequently. Now, this is the hadith degrading you women. Listen carefully. He says, you women curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husbands. <laughs> oh, why is it very <laughs> And are ungrateful to your husbands. And he says, I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. Wow. And he says, a cautious, sensible man could be led astray by some of you. If somebody is, is, listen carefully. He says, I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence. So if you are saying the woman, women have deficiency in intelligence, how come she can mislead or she can, uh, she can send somebody, a, a man who is cautious, sensible, how can how can she send her astray? Because look, I don't know if you know about scammers, but for those in Africa, level if you know about scammers, when I talk about scammers, like the fraudsters who actually try to pretend what they are not, and then speak to people overseas in the Western world, convince them that oh I love you, I'm a woman, and then they they dupe them, they take all their money and wealth away, right? In order to be able to dupe somebody, to trick somebody, you have to be ab about two or three times smarter than such a person. Do you get my point? If somebody is smarter than you, you can't trick him. And that is why we as parents, when our kids are lying to us, we laugh. We know. <laughs> We've been there before. Right? 
Your kid can only outsmart you if you, the parents, is or are dumb. That's where a kid can outsmart you. So which means your kid is twice smarter than you. But the point is, if this hadith is telling us that I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence, that's an insult to women. And again, and religion than you, that is another insult to women. That, that is the hadith books telling this. I don't agree prophet said this, right? So let's, let's uh, exonerate him from that. A cautious, sensible man could be led astray by some of you, the women. So the women asked, oh, God's messenger, what is deficiency, deficiency or what is, what is the deficient in our intelligence and religion? He said, is not the evidence of two women equal to witness of one man? Where did God say that? Is it, they are trying to tell us that the Quran chapter 2 verse 282, did God say the, the witness of two women is actually equal to one man? God said that? No. <laughs> he never said that. I spoke about this some days ago or some couple of weeks ago, right? Somebody asked me this question and I, sh I shared it in my one of my WhatsApp groups, right? God never said. He said, it's not the evidence of two women equal to the witness of one man they replied in the affirmation uh, affirmative that's wrong they replied how you are the prophet you are supposed to know and teach them and give them the references where <laughs> and that's a lie <laughs> by the way he said this is the deficiency in her intelligence look look at the stupidity here in these garbage books and this is, these are the books when you are waking people up to reason, they think you are rather against the prophet or against Islam because people are stupid anyway. So this is the deficiency in her intelligence. So it, with this deficiency, according to this hadith, is telling us this is how women come because <laughs> they can uh, send a sensible man astray. Husband Allah, <laughs> you isn't it true that a woman can neither pray nor fast during her menses? Look, look at this stupid hadith again. This hadith make the prophet as if somebody who is ignorant. Now asking the women, he said, this is the deficiency in her religion. Subhanallah. <laughs> reference, Sahih al-Bukhari, right? 304. In book reference, book number th six, Hadith number nine. Now enough with this garbage. Let's go. 